Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're outside of Palmdale because I'd like to change something that happens here. We're going to make this a little bit wider. Our trains, our passenger trains, are currently waiting on the main line to get into the station because we are sharing a platform. And we're not going to make Palmdale too busy. Oh, I love this. It's all go, isn't it? Yeah, it's always busy. If you need trains at the beginning of a video, head to Palmdale. Oh, that's wonderful. That sounds great, doesn't it? Big growly diesel. That isn't all today. No, we've got to get our stone heading down the eastern corridor, the other side of the map, and down to uh, the Athens terminus, and hopefully bring some grain back, where we'll do something with our other trains. Look at that, there's another train coming. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it out here. That's going to take a little while to unload, though. Possibly. Oh, I love it, guys. I love it. All right, UI is up. Our train, our passenger train, will sit here and wait, which is fine. Except it's very busy. Oh, it's very busy out here, isn't it, with freight. They're going to wait for them to get back onto the main line, but I wouldn't mind them parking up to uh, wait to get into the station up here since it, it sort of leans to that being a thing anyway yes they're all crammed on at palmdale but we're going to purposely keep palmdale like this it's not supposed to be a passenger hub of any sort i did just realize though we uh, we have red buses in palmdale as well so we get some fire brigade action going on we're going to upgrade these, aren't we? And have them as those uh, twin coach 44S. There we go. Get you on there. That's a lot more capacity for them. I mean, it's a bit busy at the old bus stop there. We could add some uh, waiting areas for them, which would make that a little better. That's tight, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Just straight through everybody. I mean, why would you stand there and see the bus coming around here? Well, I mean, why would it be designed like this? I would like to see better uh, better vanilla bus stops. Perhaps accounting for the fact that buses, uh, while they can turn like this, a lot of them anyway, some consideration for the passengers might be nice. <laughs> Just a little bit. But anyway, yes, that's not what we're doing today. There we go, we've got a lot of trains coming. What we could do is bring our passenger train off after the tunnel which is what I'm hoping and then we can sit and wait uh, up here just before the crossing perhaps or even a little bit further up it wouldn't matter would it yeah we might be able to get away with it down here and that'll be nicer won't it look at that it's all go marvellous oh I love the sound of the uh, the wagons going by I don't know why that is so pleasing. This is going to be one decent sized junction though by the time we finish today. Uh, it's nice though that it works like this. The question is, can we get off at uh, a relatively decent speed? Well, 50 would do, I think. If we branch off the main line at 50, ready to park up down here, it gives us a little bit of room. We will have to change this layout, won't we? Yeah, we will. Oh, that's fine. We can do a little bit of uh, gantry work here. That'll add to the scenery anyway. Yeah, that's pleasant enough, isn't it? We come off here as passenger train. We'd need another signal down here. I'm tempted just to have a, a dwarf signal because we're under the bridge there. Yeah, if we just have a dwarf signal there one way, that should be fine, shouldn't it? There we go. Just put you in. We need to sort out the signal in here. We can't have the waypoint there because it's all... Well, can we? I think we can have the waypoint. We just can't have the... Yeah, we can't have the track because it will collide with the signal. So we'll have to get rid of that for now. And then we'll take that over and continue this up. And we should be able to connect in there. There we go. Our trains are probably quite confused at the moment. It's just non-stop out here, isn't it? absolutely is and that makes me all sorts of happy right 
let's get uh, a couple of signals in here. We're going to change, or actually, waypoints. Should we put the crossing horn in in case we ever get a uh, train that has a crossing horn? Because it, is, it does have the ability to have the crossing horn. And if not, they can just use the, uh, the standard default horn or whistle down at this end, which would be that one, wouldn't it? Yeah, there we go. Just there. I mean, so far, it's not going anywhere. It will just crash into the, to the buffers there. Right, we're going to have to pause it here because I'd like to... Oh, do I? This is going to be a little... Tr no, it's not. We're actually changing how this works now. This will kind of be nice, I think. We don't need this branching off into the station any longer. I'm fairly confident about that. Don't quote me. What I'm hoping to do is have this gently go in up there. And then we can do the same coming in there. Yeah, we don't need it too quick, do we? There we go. Beautiful. I mean, technically, this could be a double slip switch. But you know me, I like to keep it fairly realistic. And having a double slip switch on the main line, especially something like that, would be not the best idea in the world. You'd probably have to reduce speed quite a bit. And the maintenance would be terrible. Not that that's a thing in Transport Fever. No, we'll be fine. We could easily have it as a double slip switch. I mean, perhaps we could stick it in there if you really wanted it. Yeah, there we go. But I don't see the point. That would make no sense. Okay. So now we can get our signal up here, which is actually only going to be as uh, one head now. Yeah, it's a single head now, isn't it? I think it always has been, to be fair. Right, we just want a standard signal. We do not want that one way, though. All sorts of things would go wrong. We'll stick it closer to the, the junction there. Our train, our passenger train. I mean, like, we could sit back here. But if we sit across the crossing, which isn't great. Well, would we? I don't know. If we get it right up here, it wouldn't be too much of an issue, would it? We could get it right where that cross is in. That There's plenty of room there. Yeah, that can be one way. And we can sit that right there. As long as we keep our passenger trains for uh, Palmdale fairly short, which they will be. They'll be like the uh, the boxy commuters, won't they, eventually? Yeah, we, we should be able to stay off that crossing. It'll be close, but not... Not too close. Right, what do we want here then? The cantilever out here would be fine. I mean, we do have a signal down on the track here. So, actually, I'm going to go across. I'm going to go all the way across. Some of these are going to be two. That one is going to be a three. Well, this would be kind of nice, won't it? Not those. Where's our threes? Yeah, it'll be threes like that. Um, a little ways off. We'll go with the short signal, the little one. Then what we can do is on this side, it can be the short signal as well. Right, let's get you in there. That's pleasant, isn't it? Oh, that's added to it already. I love it. Now we can add the, uh, the little signal we had just there. Not sure why it was there. I'm fairly confident it's a clearing signal, but it should only be a... Uh, yeah, it's like a blocking signal. That should work. It just gets our trains moving. Right, now we have to do a little bit of waypointing. Or not. Who is that that's going through the... The station there? Oh, the, yes, it's the passenger train. Oh, that's brilliant. We don't have to do any waypointing, do we? Because what we did was remove the ability to go out off of the main line direct into the station at this point past the crossing. The only way in there now is back here. And uh, we don't really need a signal here. But it wouldn't matter if we did have to wait. We're unlikely to get in each other's way because these are both heading in the same direction. There we go. I like it. What that does, it gives us the, a chance to creep up, doesn't it? Behind the Montgomery service in case we're following it. 
and then they both get off the main line sooner rather than later. Right, I think we can go now, can't we? Everything should be fine. There we go. I mean, we could change these now, couldn't we? They're getting a bit long in the tooth. Yeah, these are a rust buckets, pretty much. Manage train. Let's get rid of you. We're going to put on the steam. We've got a few of these, haven't we? The the lower powered one. Yeah, these. Well, it's it's the Berkshire are the lower powered ones. We'll change these two to be the Berkshires. Are they all the same? I mean, they do 80 mile an hour. We'll go with that. So get that gone. Get that gone. Get down to the Berkshire. We'll have a look at these. One on the front of you. And one on the front of you. Hopefully it was one and not two. I felt like it was... A, no, there we go. Modify those. 22.2 million. We've got a lot more oomph now on those two trains. Where are you? You should just be down here. Shall we take a look at them, guys? The Berkshire. There we go. Oh, you're nice. Yeah, very pleasant. Well, I like those a lot. It's about time they got upgraded, isn't it? Watching them head off into the distance. Yeah, it's absolutely about time those got upgraded. So we fixed our uh, potential issue that we could have had down here, actually. With these current uh, passenger services, there's plenty of room to actually sit behind this signal. And there'll be more than enough room to, I believe, sit off the crossing. Yep, yep, it's looking that way, isn't it? We seem to get a bit close here, which is a bit worrying. Where are we? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. It leans in a little too much, perhaps. I'll take a look when we uh, when we have some trains down there in between episodes. And if it's uh, too close, I'll move it. Even though it has no effect on the, our actual trains right guys we do need another truck station up here and we'll get our trucks all waiting shall we just go what have we got this end that's not the one is it oh we've got something fancy going on yeah uh, it'll be zero two two zero yeah that one i don't mind that that's kind of nice do we need it there? Well, yes, because that's curving down, isn't it, into the stop here. We might as well go full on 30 metres with it. We'll get you in there. We'll make it a little bit of a, a drop. Yeah, configure that. We'll get this uh, all one way up. Lovely. It doesn't need to be one way down here. I think we'll just have it like that. We It actually comes down quite steep doesn't it that is a little worrying I, I like it in a way just really dangerous it depends how this looks heading down into there uh, it's going to look a mess isn't it should we then yeah that's unnecessary as well it goes up on a on a bit of a ramp there doesn't it so if we get rid of that what we might be able to do is definitely don't want to put a gantry over there do we no that wasn't the plan Right, get you nicely uh, set up for our trucks. There we go. There we go. That's better. You're about the same height there. It's almost perfect. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, it's marvellous. Right, and get you smoothed out. Official episode. There we go. Let's get you hooked in. We might as well, because I, I like the look of them, we might as well go with a, a one-way system, the city one, because we're miles away from any cities. But we can do something like that now, can't we? Like we did before. And merge in up here. With this sort of road into it. Pretending that uh, we need to slow down for the works access. There could be a gate up there, couldn't there? That's how we can picture it anyway. Right, so that's going to go round... A little bit further and then we need to branch don't we with these but uh, one way so curvy if we get you in there and we get you up there well, i mean we could have you 
drift off that way, but I like this better because it separates the road. Yeah, there we go, that's nice. That should work. That's in a, a, a slightly different design as well, isn't it? We're getting a little bit of variety with our truck stops. You can almost tell which is which just by looking at the layout. Yeah. Oh, that was a lovely curve, wasn't it? Absolutely beautiful. They're probably going to be um, rigid trucks going down there. Not the articulated. Right. Uh, what do we want? We want the main road now. It should be able to just drift up there quite nicely. It's a pleasant transition when it's that. Yeah, that's a really nice transition. I don't mind that at all. More official episode. Let's get you in place. We don't need to smooth it off too much. So how does that look now? Ah, oh, it's marvellous. Yes. And this is a little works area. Should we get some uh, storage on here? It's going to take a little while for our trucks to pop up here, isn't it? Cargo. We'll get one there, one there. Uh, we should be able to do the same as what we did at the other one because it's the same length. There we go. We are good. These are just going to be dropping off at the same point because it's just a quick drop off and then out. We don't have to worry about picking up at the moment anyway. And I don't think we'll be taking grain anywhere. We do need to do something with this grain at some point. Possibly. We are doing something with this farm up here in this grain. Uh, is a sort of temporary measure, perhaps. But I have an idea for this. We might actually bring the food back down here. Um, yes. Entirely possible. We take uh, some grain back from Athens. Don't we have a farm down here? Yeah, we'll bring some grain back from Athens. We've got another farm here which we can truck up to Athens. And uh, we'll bring all that back with our, our stone train. We'll pretend, though, that it's not using the same gondolas, because that would be awful. We're going to have to have something more powerful than the Berkshire pulling these. I'm a little bit concerned about using the uh, big boy to get in here, because I was going to have it on this platform, and I was going to have it really long, and sit and wait for an eternity to load. So we've got some, some trains waiting around up here. Right then, are we good? Do we have everything we need? We should set the lines up. We'll get these trucks because they're going to run from... Well, we have a truck stop down there. We're going to get these trucks from... From our little truck shed down here. I like it. We're going to need a big, uh, bigger truck yard in here for picking up stuff and storing stuff. But now this is all we should need. Oh, you need the line first, Grand. That might be useful. Let's get us a new line in. We've got Montgomery Exchange. Possibly think of something better to call that. We'll drop you off to... Which one do we want to go? That one. Yeah, we cross over, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Or does it? No, we should be fine. We should be fine. We'll keep an eye on it. We need our stone colour, which is going to be a, a fairly light grey, isn't it? Should we go lighter? Yeah, there we go. And... Montgomery Exchange, don't like that. I uh, don't like Miller Street. We're going to go Montgomery North Quarry. And we're going to call that Miller Street uh, is Phoenix Freight Goods in A. B. And we'll call the other one Goods in A. This one. Did I spell Phoenix right? I don't know. Phoenix Freight A. No, B. Is it. Uh, which one did I name it, guys? B and B. That's fantastic. A. <laughs> yeah, because I changed my mind at the last minute. A and B. There we go. Goods in A and B. That'll do. That'll do. Did I spell Phoenix Freight right? I didn't on one of them, did I? No. There we go. Uh, what's the name going to be? Phoenix Stone Haulage. Oh, no. This is Stone Drayage. Phoenix East Stone Drayage, and then we'll have the other one as West. That's fine. It doesn't really matter what we call them, to be fair. 
because whenever I'm looking for a line, I just go to where it is and, and filter it. But uh, anyway, new line. And we go from there to, I guess, the same goods in would do. And we'll color it the same color. And this would be, I've spelt it wrong again, dear oh dear. <laughs> I, just, I don't know why I stumble over Phoenix so much. My brain just does not like it. Stoned Rage. Okay, can we spell Phoenix correctly, please? There we go. <laughs> oh, what is it with me and Phoenix? It's Fe yeah, there we go. It's spelt right when the game does it. <laughs> right, should we get some trucks on there? We haven't got much to choose from in the way of trucks. Uh, oh, hey, how do you use this down here? Are you going to be pretty? Oh, we need to add us... Uh, yes, we need to add us the uh, extra drop-offs, don't we? There we go. You can use either one. And we'll do the same over at the West Quarry. Yes. Uh, Phoenix Bus Tram Station. No. You are going to be Phoenix West Quarry. Manage line. That's, that's tidier. Did I call the other one that? East Quarry? I think I might change it to that. Phoenix East Quarry. Because it's Mont... No, that's Montgomery North, isn't it? This can be... Well, this could be Phoenix South then, couldn't it? Quarry. Yeah, there we go. Phoenix South Quarry. I mean, it's nice to name them and they, they become an area then, don't they? Except that one's Palmdale. Well... It's a bit of a push for both, isn't it? That's uh, they're in the middle, which is great. We're gonna have loads of trucks running them. Should we get some trucks on there? How many are we gonna need? I guess we can start with a uh, eight on each. We can just go for the dump truck, which is nice, and that's all we're gonna be doing at the moment. And we'll go with ten. We need to wait until full them, but they're gonna be uh, taking a while. Yes, we'll color them stone color and you can go on the east and then the other one can go on the west don't let me forget and you go on the west go and get some stone did i do 10 or was it eight? Oh, i don't know you're gonna have 10. you get stone colored and you on the west we'll quickly pop up here and we'll manage line and wait for eternity until fault and the same over here manage line wait for eternity and fall right we're good to go where are our trucks here they come opal blitz dump trucks get going so we're going to head that way i like them in this color that looks really nice oh i absolutely love those Oh, they're all going to go that way. We don't have a way out. Well, we do technically have a way out there. We could continue it up and meet up with, uh, with the road again. But I, I like this little, this little mountain road we've got. We'll probably uh, tidy it up a little bit as well. There we go. You go and join your friends. There's a lot of trucks, isn't there? It'll only look like this while we first send them out, though. As eventually... Production's going to kick up. Uh, at first, they're just going to go and wait there. They shouldn't start producing yet, though. No, no shipment yet. Because now what we need to do is make a new line for our train, and we'll get that on. That goes from Phoenix Freight Hub North. Yes, and this is south, isn't it? Phoenix Freight Hub North down to the quarry. The question is... Do we pick up the grain from the quarry or do we shuffle round because the way we stay off the track there might might work we can we can possibly bypass can't we with any other trains on the outside yes do we need to bypass we don't do we we need to stop in there afterwards yeah that would be fine wouldn't it that would be kind of lovely in fact and i don't think we get in the way either we could stay on the outside as well the outside is absolutely fine and uh, depends how long we are okay so this is uh 
Oh, what would this be called? East. So we've got East Corridor. It'll be East Done for a start. I just noticed that. It'll be Eastern Corridor Plastic. There we go. Eastern Corridor Plastic. Now we've got Eastern Corridor Loose Goods. Would that be right? Loose Goods? I think so, because it's going to be a mixture of both, isn't it? It's going to be both stone, so a light grey, and grain, which is in the... What is it in this game? We don't have any yellows, do we? Should we go with yellow, like a pale yellow? I mean, it's garish, <laughs> but why not? Um, well, we could go with a pale orange, I guess, as well. I want grain to be yellow, not orange. It's fine. <laughs> right, now, Phoenix Freight Hub North. We want to wait for eternity. Full load. There we go. We're not going to give it the option. It can't have the option anyway. But we'll go sort that out shortly. And what do we want to do here? We just want to unload our uh, stone. Is that, is that stone? That's grain. This is hard to it's hard to line up. No, we need to unload our BS. Unload your stone. Then we need to pick up whatever. Or do we want to pick up a full load? I mean, we could potentially pick up a full load. I, I would prefer that. Maximum wait time. Then we can sit up here for a little bit as well. And we might be able to balance out the two lines. But we'll need to set up a grain delivery. That should be fine though. So full load any, then we only want to load our grain. Yes, and down here, we only want to load our stone, but we want to unload our grain. Are we good? I say then we get us a, a big old train moving. We can go with a pair Marquette, can't we? We've got some that do 5,000. 5,069. I can't remember which ones we've got over the other side. These are the newer ones, I believe. So if we had two, seven, yeah, if we had a couple of these on there, I think that'd be nice, wouldn't it? We have one of those. We'll wait until this says mediocre. And we will have, if we've got them unlocked still, a, a uh, caboose on the back and we don't want this to be a passenger train as awesome as it would look we want our gondolas please do we want to color these what are we taking well i don't want them that lime color really maybe we'll just have them different colors so we'll have some dark yellow we'll just have all those on there and oh, we can take uh, so many of these. <laughs> and then we'll have some the stone colour, like a white. Sure. And we'll add that, that. Not those. Not those. We do not want tank cars. This is all gondolas all the time. Goodness me, we can just go to town with this, can't we? It's still at good. <laughs> How big is this platform? I don't even know. I think 300 metres is the most, isn't it? Yeah, well, we'll try with that. And if it's too big, we'll perhaps try and... Oh, I don't know how we'll work that in. We might need to scoot this further out and send us further back and have more of a cut here and less of a tunnel. That would be some uh, work to do, though, wouldn't it? I don't mind that. We can indeed have a caboose. We'll need one. Oh, you can colour them? Well, uh, can we have you black, then? Or at least a really dark colour. I like that. 30 million. We'll start with one. Because we need to get our bearings with these trains. We're going to buy it. And we're going to stick it on the light. Just so it activates. Now we should. Uh, that should see demand for stone at the very least. Our, our quarries should kick up production. As soon as we hit play. They won't yet. What we need to do is on the return journey we need to be uh in fact we don't need to cross the tracks do we we can have it on this side if we can figure this in fact we could potentially have a, another track so we could leave a, a track space even if we just have it as a siding i mean it would be kind of nice wouldn't it 
let's put that there. Then we'll have a platform. And then we'll have more buildings on here then. Yeah, we'll take the tracks out, but we'll probably just draw them out from here. If we can get it round, which we can, into there. There we go. We're just a, a dead end up this end. We could even drift it off, couldn't we? Just so we've got some stuff happening down this end as scenery. Yeah, I like that. There we go. And then that's going to come in that way. And then that one. Unfortunately, we can't have a, a triple switch going on up there. But we can hopefully just scoot in before the uh, platform. There we go. It's a little bit untidy, but I'll take it. Well, I guess what we could do for those two is branch this off straight. There we go. There we go. That should be able to uh, drift in now. That can go in up that end. Is that a little tidier for a little siding? Yeah, we're just going to have a uh, little engine sat there, I think. Little shunters. Not official episode, this. Just some flattening. Now it's official. There we go. There we go. Get you all tidied up in the middle. Beautiful. I mean, kind of beautiful. What I'd like then is just to uh, just to have one of these parked up here, perhaps. Uh, yeah, one of the switch trains. Oh, you can. Well, Tuscan, get you in there. <laughs> there we go. We'll just have him parked there. Does he make any noise? No, he's just silent. He's off. There's no one in it. Someone's left the light on, though. That's pleasant, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe we can have a couple of gondolas down here. Unnecessary detailing. Fortunately, it doesn't cost us anything, though, so that's lovely. I, where's the gondolas? Hello? Is it these? I don't think it's those, are they? We don't have access to those yet. I don't know. You're over there. There we go. Quickly, come over. Is it those? No. These? No. Those. Yeah, yes. Yes, that's them. <laughs> right, we'll just get a couple of these parked up here. For whatever reason. I'm not going to go too crazy with these. I'm just going to throw them in because they're, they're going to be very distant scenery. Yeah, they're just going to be hidden there. There we go. Right, let's just check our train is doing the uh, correct route. It is. It's going to be the first service to use uh, this bypass and go past our passenger lines. We're also going to share a track partially with our passenger train heading this way. Oh, heading that way. You're going a Oh, you're actually going around that way. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was the other way around. That makes no sense whatsoever. This makes more sense to me. That's kind of beautiful. Uh, or is it? Or is it? Which side do I want you? Do I kind of want you to come around the other way. It is possible for you to come around the other way, isn't it? I'm sure it is. I mean, this does kind of work coming out here, though, doesn't it? Yeah, we avoid a lot of... Oh, I tell you what, guys. That wasn't the plan, but we're now heading this way. I sort of love that. A lot. Yes, that's what we're doing. That's brilliant. That's absolutely awesome. That's a better idea than I had. Thank you, game. Uh, in that case, then, let's make that one way. There we go. We'll have a signal there. We don't even need this crossover, but we'll leave it in regardless. That does kind of work. I prefer that. Well, there he goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're decent length, aren't you? You're lovely. It should trigger everything for us. You are the first first train to use that. I've got another one coming down there. Is that the big boy as well? But I did just sit and admire that with complete silence. But why not? Right, so... Do we have... Uh, this won't kick up production yet. We're going to end today. Quickly put in the uh, the last the last goodies. Have we got... Right, we've got production at that quarry. We've got production at that quarry. So... 
Now let's finish off adding us a, a big old truck stop here. We're going to go full full for this one because I'm not sure what we're doing with it just yet. Oh yeah, we need an access point, Grand. What are you doing? I never did put the building on, did I? No. Cargo buildings. We want the big one. As big as, big as we can over this side. It's going to be a, the truck handoff for outside uh, of the station here. Oh, do you know what? We can we can do this, can't we? Next time out, I think. Because we can just jump on the train for now. Yeah, we've got a lot done. We have triggered the demand. What we should do then, because it's going to take forever to get down there. Yeah, at the beginning of the next episode, we can set up the final bit of the grain run. Because we've practically got everything we need already to take grain down there. I do want this area fairly flat. Uh, it's, it's all of our yard, isn't it, down here? But this is going to be much bigger. We're actually going to go quite ginormous with this. And plenty of storage as well, because we're going to have to store quite a lot of grain in here. And at the initial drop-off anyway. And we'd like our trucks to be backed up here. And these might be articulated as well. So that is the plan. I mean, that alone... So it's 140 per terminal. We can have some buildings along the back there. It's a shame we don't have uh, more variety on that. Well, you won't find them in there, Grand. It's a shame we don't have more variety on our buildings here. Those down there, we might be able to fit a couple in either side of our station. Like that. So they back up into the station there. Then we can have like... Uh, what's the paint we need for this? It's it's the gravelly, isn't it? And then we'll go and get on board our uh, new train. We'll go over this as well that we've got here. Make it all one one thing. There we go. We'll delete back where the uh, ballast. We'll just put that out the edge there. There we go. There we go. That's pleasant. Yeah, maybe we'll keep that there, except for that boulder. Can we get down into that boulder? There it is. <laughs> well, that's kind of nice. I do like that. We might do some more work with that. That'd be pleasant. Oh, that's massive, isn't it? I love that. Right, we'll leave it like that for now. It's work in progress. We're going to take this all the way over. Probably to this singular food processing plant. We already have the stop here that was thrown in. But we'll redo this stop. And we'll make it all fancy next time out. Am I ever going to end today's episode? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, there we go. At least they're connected now. And we can possibly go over there. And then that can branch around here. And then head up into there. Just for now. Yeah, let's just give you a bit of room at the side there. And then we'll smooth you, smooth you off. We'll end with some official episode. And a bit of a hill instead. And you are much tidier and things have changed. Things are changing and things are changing for the better, I would say. Uh, except you don't need to be that. You can, in fact, be that. I believe that is the country one. It is. All right, guys, we're on board our brand new loose goods train. It's going to be taking grain in one direction and stone in this direction. Uh, currently, it's taking nothing because we're going to do a little trip down to Athens. That isn't how that would work, would it? No, we'd find some way to load up our stone. What it is doing now is it's preparing stone for us over at our two uh, quarries. And they're going to be taken with our trucks. That means we can uh, jump on our trucks finally in the next episode. We'll absolutely definitely do that. But now we're sitting in the... Uh, the second man seat i guess on this side just in case we get to see the uh the big boy coming the other way uh, we could also see the passenger service that heads down here as well the higher water lots of potential sightseeing whether we actually see any i don't know it's a it's a nice little view we've got isn't it to see a bit of the uh the locomotive there in front of us and we're getting to experience the triple track section we've got going on and we're sitting on the middle 
So when we come back, we'll be getting our grain up and running, and that will be a full train in both directions, hopefully. Not to start with, we might send it off early a few times. That's all to do next time out. Thank you for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.